While visiting Helsinki, Finland on Monday, Afghan President Hamid Karzai confirmed his government had received monthly payments from the CIA over the last decade. The BBC reports, although Karzai said it was small amounts, tens of millions of dollars reportedly went in secret to the Afghan government. Money was used for various purposes, operational assistance to injured people, rental costs and other goals. This was efficient assistance and we appreciate it, Karzai said. According to The Telegraph, the so-called ghost money was packed into suitcases, backpacks or plastic shopping bags and delivered every month to Afghanistan's National Security Council. The CIA has declined to comment on the issue, though The Wall Street Journal notes the U.S. relationship with Afghanistan obviously goes further than just those payments. The war in Afghanistan has been America's longest-running foreign conflict and has cost the U.S. government billions of dollars. Moreover, the CIA works closely with the Afghan intelligence agency against Taliban groups. According to the New York Times, the payments also allow the CIA to maintain access to Karzai and his inner circle. Karzai wants to control Afghan militias the CIA created for the purpose of targeting al-Qaeda. The U.S. is not the only government that has paid Afghan officials. In 2010, Afghanistan acknowledged receiving money from Iran's leadership. The Guardian reports the United Kingdom's secret intelligence service, MI6, has also paid the Afghan government, although not as much as the U.S. did. Now some British officials wonder if Afghan officials might have taken advantage of the UK's desire to reach a peace deal. Analysts fear U.S. payments to the Afghan government might have encouraged corruption rather than political cooperation. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.